So, last week it was time for another convention, gaming convention, because I like gaming conventions. I go to like two or three a year. I think at this point it's just two. It might be just one. We'll see what happens. This was a new con. While I'm recording this, I haven't actually gone yet, but by the time it's posted I will have, so we'll see. Anyway, so I figured it was time to make a new dragon pendant. I really wanted to make a new dragon pendant anyways. The one that I have is getting a little old and I've had it for a while since the last convention. And I figured it was a good time to make one. I can't find it. I may have ripped it. I vaguely remember ripping it, but I don't, I'm, I'm not sure. So, so I bought some more. I got a whole bunch. I'm only going to use a couple in this video. And, um, but I, I, I have full intentions of using all of these. Look, this one comes with an egg. This one, this one comes with an egg. You do the two halves and then you, you glue them together and then you fill this up and it's inside a clear egg. How cool is that? Way too big for a pendant though. But these guys, these guys are raw, right? Anyways, so we're gonna start with one. Full disclosure, I've already made the pendant. I already know what's going to happen. I already know the trials and tribulations. There are going to be some. I'm going to be a mess up and I'm gonna screw it up royally, but it's going to work out in the end anyways. So if you wanna see more, let's get into it. All right. Since there is nothing to unbox, let's get right straight into it. I'm going to dust the entire mold with this multi-chrome powder. It looks like an off-brand Let's Resin powder, and it is definitely off-brand. It does not work terribly well in the end. I mean, it, it's a pretty color, depending on what, how you look at it, but it just it doesn't really work that well. All right, let's mix up some two-part epoxy. This is leftover from Sophie and Toffee. It's a three to one, except I mix it wrong and I mix it as a two to one. Luckily, it works in the end. Make sure you stir it well, very, very well. Uh, scrape the sides and the bottom constantly. Make sure you mix it for at least three minutes, preferably five, until all the striations are gone and it's mixed completely evenly or it will not cure properly. This is from Jackie's box. It's the rainbow glitter that is not rainbow. It's barely iridescent. Some black pigment also from Sophie and Toffee. One of the things I do love is Sophie and Toffee's pigments. Those are really nice. The Morandi ones, very nice. Put in just a little bit, and then we're going to use a little pokey thing to make sure we get as many of the bubbles out as we can. And then we'll fill it up to the top and realize that we've made way too much resin. Again, which is fine. Better too much than too little. But I had also planned on making some more shaker charm things anyways. So we'll fill those up. Still had a little extra, so I'll make a couple of earrings. And this is when I realized I had mixed the resin wrong. So here I made a backup pendant with the proper, you know, mixture. Properly three to one. Like I said, luckily everything works out in the end, so it doesn't really matter. Here we go unmolding everything. I'm really kind of surprised at how much that glitter sinks. I mean, it looks nice. It gives it a nice finish, but it's just weird. I keep expecting it to, to float better, but it, it really doesn't. And that's okay. Here is the main piece. It's been three days since I poured it, but it doesn't seem to be fragile or anything like that. As I record this, it's three weeks later, I've been wearing it to work every day that I work, and it's fine. I didn't spray it good enough with the top coat, so the paint's chipping off a little bit. And here we'll see that I'm going to 
clean up the edges. It's always a little bit of cleanup to do. I'm not exactly the most neat pourer. Next up, we'll give it some gold highlights. Do the eyes, the edges of the wings, and then we'll dry brush a little bit. I really do like how this comes out. It's very cute. You may have noticed earlier in the video that the one of the bottles for the resin was interesting. Well, the neck had snapped off. I went to unscrew the lid and the neck just went snap and it just popped right off in my hand. Just popped right off. And it was kind of weird because I obviously wasn't expecting that. I've used this resin specifically before. This is not the first time I've opened this bottle. So I was a little surprised when the neck just snapped right off. <laughs> so one of the things that I like to do when I need to clean up a tiny space where I've put too much paint is I'll get an eye makeup applicator, dip it in either water or alcohol, and then that'll get into smaller places to clean up paint. So you don't have to try to scrunch up a paper towel or a, a Q-tip or something like that. It's already nice and flat and it gets it into pretty small spaces. Now that we've done the tips and the highlights, we're gonna go in on the scales with a little dry brushing to give them a little bit more definition. I don't know, I think it works pretty well. I'm not very good at dry brushing, but it, it this comes out pretty cute. And here we are after everything is all said and done. And I think it came out a lot better than I was expecting, especially after I screwed up the resin. Putting in way too much hardener, it should have messed it up, but it came out okay. I am not at all happy with this multi-chrome powder, but like I said, it was cheap stuff. I mean, my view of it, it's very maroon. Your view of it is very purple. I don't know how to get you to be able to see the maroon on that. But <clears throat> I painted him. I gave him little highlights. I think he came out really well. And the two halves, which I'm not gonna glue together because I technically didn't have enough resin to do them. So this one looks like a baby and this one looks like he's still developing, but he's cute anyways. And then of course, I made way too much resin as always. So overflow time, the little leaf, a little star flower thing, the moon, the heart, little doors for earrings. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It actually worked out really well. I'm very happy that it did. I was a little worried about it for a little while, but um, yeah, yeah. One thing I did do is I also made some nails. Oops, let's not lose those. That would be bad. I still can't really get it to show the multi-chrome with this lighting. I just, I don't know what lighting is best to, to really show that, to showcase that, but it looks cool anyways. He is so cute. He came out so cute. All I need to do now is put a little bail on him and he is ready to go. He's got a, a light coat of a spray gloss varnish and I think he'll do well. I am pleased and I hope that people like him. Thanks so much for visiting and I'll see you next time. Stay safe.